G'day YouTube. So it's been a little while since we've been out and had an adventure. During times like this, um, you know, there's limits to where you can go. Though we do have a very limited kind of opening of the borders to some other states at the moment. But what we're really interested in right now is seeing more of our own state and sharing that with you. Now, we were planning to go check out Greens Beach today, but Linda's just found from the weather report that it's potentially going to be very windy. So we're just going to head in that direction and check out Greens Beach. If it's too windy, we'll just keep driving and see what we find further up the Tama River. So come with us. We're here, and that's not where I thought we were going. I get confused between Gravelly Beach and Greens Beach. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I've ever been here before. If I have, it's been a while. Greens Beach is 60 kilometers from Launceston, at the mouth of the Tamer River, on the western side, opposite Low Head. The little town here has a population of 209. What's your one do, Darwin? Oh, yours is a spinny one. Yeah. Alright, YouTube, he's put the bag over here. Let's see <laughs> if he remembers it's over here. <laughs> Talking to the camera. As usual. So this is the Greens Beach West End Coastal Track. It's about a three hour return walk. Parts of it have been overgrown by some weeds and there's been some pollution of oil from like shipwrecks and stuff. But there are community groups who are working to restore that kind of stuff and just get the whole area nice and back to what it was in the past. We got two choices. There's up there and there's down there. I reckon that's a private residence. So this is really good for my walk to Mordor challenge. And just walking through these kind of surrounds, tell you what, it just adds that extra level of inspiration. It's like we really are walking through Middle Earth. It's a bit low. It's <laughs> a long legs. Tell you what, I'd hate to see the spider that made this web. <laughs> Tennis courts? Oh look, it's an actual legitimate phone box. Now back in my day, <laughs> most uh, payphones these days have actually been uh, installed with Wi-Fi stations, but this one doesn't appear to have been just for a good night's sleep. Chevron 1 is engaged on the Stargate. Let's go visit Abydos. How does... how does... this doesn't do anything, does it? You just gotta... You need it. <laughs> push it with your feet or something, I don't know. A what? I think like the middle part. <laughs> can you like... can you like go back a little bit? If I let go, I'll fall off! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is just how holy. How does it work? I don't, I don't know. know. I think someone has to like move. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, no. Hold on, let me hold on. Oh no! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> well. Oh crap! Oh crap! <laughs> yeah, it used to be me pushing you around, Harry. Time to head into the shop for a drink. 
Mm-hmm. And that's tail. ginger, isn't it? It is. But there's also garlic in there. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Supporting Tasmanian. <laughs> this is the traditional carton in it, but it's so small and it's chocolate with Australian milk. Some nice Barbies down there. We need to post a picture and say, yeah, the beaches in Tasmania are terrible. <laughs> what about oh, yeah, for like putting boats in? Um, I think there might be boat sheds here. So you're going to have to explain your comment about the t beaches in Tasmania being awful. So there's this guy in Queensland, I think he's like the deputy premier. And he made a comment. I think he was trying to get Queenslanders to stay in Queensland to support their own economy, which is fair enough. Because Tasmania is trying to have little travel bubbles between certain states to try and boost our economy. Anyway, Queensland's not one of them. And I think he was trying to tell people to stay in Queensland. Basically, he says, oh, I go to Tassie. We've got better beaches in Queensland or something. But now the Tasmanians are like, yeah, our beaches are terrible. Don't come down here. Like, we actually have quite pretty beaches. It might be cold, but they're pretty. <laughs> anyway, that's why I keep saying it. Only we Tasmanians would come to the beach in the middle of winter. Good on us. Of course, if you want to see a real Tasmanian beach, check out our Binalong Bay video. So we are basically at the top end of Tasmania, although certainly not the northernmost tip. But over there on the other side of the Tamer River is Low Head, where there is a lighthouse. And down a bit would be Georgetown. We're pretty close to Kelso here. But yeah, this is basically the Bass Strait. So keep going, you're going to hit Melbourne. But honestly, you don't want to be in Melbourne right now. It's, um, it's actually pretty scary up there. My brother and I had a little boat like this up at Swanwick when we were uh, kind of late teens, early twenties. We'd take it out in the in the river. It's a little bit smaller than this one, though. Actually, probably quite a bit smaller. Hello, world. Where did you hide, Chloe? <laughs> so Chloe came to this beach for a school excursion a little while ago. And, you know, Chloe's a bit like me. She's uh, not that outgoing. So she and her mates found a nice little hiding spot to uh, <laughs> get away from all the other noisy students. So she's going to take us and show us where her hiding spot was. Yeah, this is a nice little spot just to get away from people when you're a bit peopled out. It does. Excuse me, I just forgot I uh, have to return a book to the library. <laughs> Be aware, it's quarter past four and the shop is closed. So I guess you won't be getting your fish and chips for tea from there. They close at four on a Sunday. But seven on other days. Okay. I like the waves. 